Good morning, sorry if you can hear any of that noise in the background. I think one of my neighbors or someone is cutting their lawn and it is very, very noisy. But this morning I think has been one of the hottest mornings yet. So all of our windows are open, which is just not helping the noise whatsoever. So I've trapped myself under this bunk bed in the hope that it'll make it a little bit quieter with my door shut. But right now it is like 11 a.m. I didn't actually wake up until like 10 this morning, which is the longest I've slept in this entire trip by far. I didn't get to sleep very quickly last night because one of our neighbors was having a mad house party and it was so noisy and then I got woken up at like 4 a.m 5 a.m with my phone ringing so that definitely was not ideal that completely threw off my sleep and I think that's probably why I've ended up having a lay-in but the phone call was giving good news they sent an email that I looked at this morning and basically I was offered the job that I went to the recruitment day for last week so that is really really exciting like that's just I don't know I think I haven't fully processed it yet so I don't feel as excited as I will feel but yeah I'm very I'm very happy that I've been offered the job so yeah that's I've woken up with good news I mean with that good news comes stress because I obviously have to sort out stuff for that but I need to focus on the good stuff I don't want to stress out myself too much so that's really nice that's a nice and positive thing to wake up to the plan for today is to go back into the city I think think i'm pretty sure we're going into the city we're meeting my sister for brunch in one of her favorite little cafes so we're gonna go there i think for like half 12. i think we were originally meant to be meeting for brunch but now that's been pushed back so it's actually more like lunch either way we're meeting for food and then i think she's gonna take us to where she's been living for the past year and we're gonna kind of explore her area and then i think we're just gonna come back here and have like a chill evening in I'm not 100 percent sure but i think that is the plan as of yet so this is my outfit for today. I'm wearing these shorts which are from Brandy Melville. I think this top is from Brandy Melville as well and then I've just got my good old trusty trainers on as well. I just had the nicest brunch slash lunch ever. We went to Ponsonby, I think it was called, and we went to a cafe called The Little Bird, I'm pretty sure. It was so, so, so good. Me and my sister shared the Waffles Benedict, which were like savoury waffles with mushrooms and hollandaise. And then we also got these orange hotcakes with caramelised banana both were incredible i was a little bit like dubious because it seemed to be like a healthy vegan place and usually my style is like proper junk food but it all tasted literally insane it was so good we also had like a little wander around ponsonby and like some of the little shops and now we've just arrived at cornwall park behind me we're going to climb up the i think it's called one tree hill go to the top apparently it's a very nice view but i think before we do that we're going to go get a drink and some chips or something to give us some energy to get up I don't know how well you're gonna be able to hear me because it is very windy up here but we made it to the top it is such a nice view I feel incredibly dead I think I've mentioned on my channel before how unfit I am and this really tested that <laughs> so I am very tired and that kind of killed me a little bit but I think it was worth it because this view is absolutely beautiful you can literally see the We are now back home. We've actually been back a few hours, I think now. It's like half eight. We all just kind of crashed and sat silently on our phones when we got in. I think we were all pretty tired from climbing up that hill, but it was definitely worth it. It was so nice up there and I felt a good sense of achievement getting up to the top. I mean, really for most people, it wasn't that much of a big deal, but I'm just so 
unsporty, unfit, un anything exercisey that I was just, I was definitely killed by the experience. I am about to put on a face mask if I can get it open. I'm just sat here struggling to open it. I brought this with me because I was going to use it on the plane because I thought that would make the plane experience, you know, fun and exciting and relaxing. But then my mum was quite embarrassed and she didn't want me to put it on and like scare people on the plane. So I've saved it until now, but I'm feeling, I'm feeling a face mask tonight and my sister's put one on herself and it's made me jealous. So this is from Primark, by the way. It's the Holler and Glow Money Honey face mask and it's enriched with real gold, which I think makes it very bougie and very exciting. Okay, so it's actually split into two different masks. This is really gross it is so slimy <laughs> sheet masks are always very terrifying <laughs> oh my goodness okay so i think that's the best that i'm gonna get this isn't really staying where it's meant to i don't really think i'm meant to be talking with this on so I meant to leave this on for 20 to 40 minutes, which I feel like is quite a long time for a face mask. So I'm gonna go and lie down and just chill because I don't really think I can do much else while this is on. Once again, it is now the next day and I forgot to end the vlog yesterday. I think I mentioned that when we came back, we literally just crashed. We were all so tired. So I did that face mask. I edited a video and then all three of us just basically chilled all evening. We had crisps for dinner because we were still so full from the chips and things that we had earlier in the day. So the evening wasn't too exciting, hence why I didn't really film very much of it. But I hope you enjoyed the video anyway. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.